Hey guys, welcome to Meow Family. Vanessa Antoine here. Today we have a new video. Well, for me, it is a very special video because you get to see some of my sweet first years who are soon to be second years and get to hear from my co years who are now like me, third years. So sad. But they're going to answer a series of questions that I ask them in their own special way. I will also answer these questions and other questions in another video. So I hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned for the other video. So without further ado, let's get to it. So Abu, what are you going to miss the most about AC? I gotta miss the very diverse environment. We have like people from all around the world, from different colors, different races, different opinions, you know, different perspectives. And this was like very good. This was very good. Very, 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 very Nathan, what are you going to miss the most about AC? The people. Hey Roya, what are you going to miss the most about AC? Basically, I'm gonna miss a lot of things. The most thing is my second year. Because I'm there, Vanessa, Mohammed, Sarah, all my second years. Like in AC, I built relationship with the second years more than the first year themselves until it affects me directly. But I'm so happy for them because they are gonna just pass to another stage in their life. I love them. I love them. I will miss them. So, Liu, what are you going to miss the most about AC? Uh, I'm going to miss my friends, especially the second years, my roommates, the castle, um, my national group. My, oh, I don't know, everything, everything. I miss everything about this place. What is your national group? The African National Group. <laughs> Tribe! <laughs> What am I going to miss? Um, I'm going to miss um, talking to different people and sleeping and like um, running and I'm going to miss um, just watching um, first years grow and just seeing other people and yeah. What are you going to miss about AC at least coming into the next year or the first years? Oh, sorry, the second years. <laughs> I'm a first year and I will be missing the second years next year. Ha! Listen, this is just Amalia. So just Vanessa behind the camera. Like, I'm going to miss all of you, each and every single one of you. And I really regret that I didn't have all the time that I wanted because I came late to talk to you guys. Um, but really, like, I I'm happy to have gotten the chance to know you at all. Um, and I I'm really grateful for that. You know, it's not the second years are going to be leaving. I'd rather have gotten the chance to feel sad about that rather than not having had you guys in my life at all. Uh, and I'm really grateful. My advice is, from the beginning, start studying. Because like everything will pile up and you will start losing control. So don't take it like easily or don't take it like it's not serious. So start studying from the beginning. And also, remember to have fun. And remember to like find your own balance between sleep, study, and social. Yeah, especially sleep. Sleep. <laughs> yes, well for sure. <laughs> oh my god! First thing I'm gonna miss my bubbly house parents, Sarah Kriva. Oh my god, she's such an amazing person. Then I'm going to miss my day one. I'm gonna miss uh, all my first days and like. Some people in my second year group, and yeah, especially him, he's a joy, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss my national group. Um, AC is like a place full of like a lot of things to do, honestly. Like, I'm gonna miss uh, just being here, it's a nice feeling, except for the weather. Ugh. I hate Welsh weather, but like, yeah, I'd prefer Zimbabwean weather anytime, any day. Over this wash weather. And what else will I miss? Definitely not the food. 
put, oh, I've had so many potatoes at this place, Lord knows. Like, uh, standing up for a cause that we all believe in. It's, especially like working in a group of like a group of friends trying to make all the world a better place. Just shut up. So, what is your advice for future AC students? Well, I can tell them like to have fun here, make good friendship, life lost take, and also to keep their academics beside their social life going on, you know. And you got this guys, you know. And my advice is basically when you come to AC, right. put in your mind right. that everyone in AC is no. special and everyone is amazing in a special way. So please, please try to accept everyone in the way they are and don't change anyone because everyone here is amazing. Future students, seek this comfort. Literally, get out of your comfort zone. Um, challenge yourself um, in a healthy way, of course, but do. Do 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 new things like it, it's worth it at the end. You'll feel really happy and look back and be really proud of yourself. Well, first things first, <laughs> talk to people, um, go for your lessons, um, wake up on time, and above all, slay. Like slay. Okay, <laughs> so how do you slay? Honey, do what you're good at. If you play an instrument, play an instrument, like showcase your instrument. <laughs> yes, Timothy! Yeah, just enjoy your time and like don't be too hard on yourself. Like the IP is like one part of it, but then like there's also the UWC part of it. And like, of course, we want good grades, but we also want good experiences. Take a lot of pictures. Bro. Night ride, um, get caught by night coaches. Um, I didn't even be know late for code. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't be late. Don't get caught by night. Sports don't do that. But um, be a happy person. Enjoy. Talk to people. Um, make friends. Uh, eat and yeah, sleep. Check me on Instagram at underscore 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 R Q U P U P E underscore Facebook with Faro Camario. Um, catch ya. <laughs> Biggest piece of advice is that you should never ever feel like you have to be someone or something that you're not in order to fit in at AC. It's, it's kind of exhausting, it's really exhausting to have to pretend something like the whole time. And so what's better instead is just to find who you are, um, find people who support you for who you are as well. You shouldn't feel like everybody has to like you, that's a really big one. Because like if you try to make everybody like you, everyone's gonna know that like you're fake. If being nice is like your whole, your gig, like that's what you do, and good for you. Uh, if you're being nice is not your thing, like also good for you. Things should happen because you want to and not because someone else wants to. And that's my advice to first students. Woo! Yay! <laughs> proud second year. Very <laughs> proud. <laughs>So Liu, do you have any advice for those students who have an UWC interview? One, the main advice I would give um, for people coming to the interviews is be confident and be you. Be honest. Honesty, honesty makes the dream work. Honesty makes you get to places. Honesty, like the honesty, honesty is the key, the key word. I Okay, the people are screaming now, but my advice is, guys, just be yourself. Try to express yourself as much as you can with personality, because your degree doesn't tell everything about you. So when you go to the interview, try to be relaxed and express yourself in the way you are, express your idea, everything about you, because your personality is really matter, and it's the really one thing that AC wants. Your personality. Thank you. Okay. The most important thing to remember when you're going into the interview is literally just that you are you, and if you are a UWC person and you really want to go to UWC, you will get in. Because like these interviewing people, like they're not stupid, they're not easily fooled, they're all people who are associated with UWC or even gone to UWC themselves. 
So if you don't actually like have that kind of like a passion or value, and you don't want to go to the UWC like because it's UWC, they will be able to tell that. If you want to get the most out of UWC experience, then you should believe in those values. Because the UWC people who are selecting as a committee, they don't judge you based on how many things you've done or like how, how sad your story is, but they judge you based on how much you can gain from the UWC experience. You know, you shouldn't have to try and pretend like you're like a super impressive person. Maybe you are, like of course you can talk about that. You should be proud of yourself. But you should really try and be authentic first and foremost. And the second one is very related to that, and it's that nothing you say is ever boring, okay? They will want to hear about it, because the interview is not just to hear about like UWC and what you've done in your life, but it's also a chance to get to know you. The whole point of the interview is to get to talk to you as a person, to get to know you, to get to see what you've been like, to see your personality, your experiences, and all of that makes you as a cohesive person. That's when the interviewers know that they found like a piece of gold. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully you learned something. <laughs> um, stay tuned for the other video that I was, I'm going to answer these questions and other questions that I've been asked a lot lately. So take care, thank you for spending time with me today in this video, it was a pleasure. Welcome to the family for all the newcomers. We love you all and please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Love you all. Have a blessed and a nice day. <laughs> so see you in another video. Bye.